How about it? This is KD5 INM. Yeah, what you're looking at here is a plastic box that we bought here a while back. And this is going to be our combiner box for our solar. What we did is we've uh, put a few parts and everything together to, uh, to uh, uh, build our combiner box. I wanted to show this to you today. What we have here is our uh, is bus bar that we bought, and this was actually a long piece of bus bar that we cut down, and uh, uh, we have uh, five screws on here. One screw goes to the wires, the main wires feeding in that go into the house through conduit and the rest of the, the other four connections are going to be for uh, our solar panels because we're going to have them paired up. They're going to be uh, 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 two, uh, they're going to be paired up with uh, four uh, sets of two, eight total, you know, eight panels total. So uh, we're going to uh, be able to wire this up, but I wanted to show you this because uh, what we did here is we used a uh, CPVC pipe, which is hot water pipe, so you can handle a little bit more temperature as far as heat and all that's concerned. Uh, and if if this should get warm, then we shouldn't have any problem with uh, uh, with it uh, melting a pipe or hurting, you know, damaging the pipe, and making it soft or anything like that, making the plastic soft. That's uh, one of the concerns I had. Uh, but uh, what you see here, you see uh, see how we've got the how this box is notched like this. Well, this is what we this is what we had planned on doing. Uh, what we uh, did was actually drilled holes through the uh, the back, larger holes to put the screws in, and threaded this and put this screw in there so you can see that it's solid. It's not going to come off of there. So we put screws in on each end of it and fasten it to the pipe. And then the way this works is this fits just like this. And it's a little bit snug. You kind of have to bend it a little bit in order to or flex it a little bit to get it go in there. But once it goes in there, it's in there solid. It's not going to come out. And the reason why we did that is is to uh, is to where is to make it where we didn't have to drill through the back of it because this is going to be mounted up against uh, a metal pole in the outside and I didn't want any screws or anything poking through the back to be able to touch or short out against that metal pole so we wanted everything enclosed all the connections enclosed inside of the plastic and it'll be insulated so uh, that's what we did on that and this one right here, it will fit just like this. It will also fit a little bit snug. Get it in there. This one's a little even a little bit snug. But what I did is to make those notches, I just took a grinder and ground the notches in the pipe and then fitted it to make sure that it was gonna fit and it would be snug in there. So you could tell that this one's even more snug than the other one is. I mean they're both pretty solid in there. I mean, I can pull this one loose, but this one here, it's going to take a little bit of something to get it loose. Probably like a screwdriver here in order to get it to come loose from there. So you can tell that it's not just going to pull loose. It's in there pretty snug. So. What we're planning on doing is, is uh, building it like this. Building it like this. And, and then what we'll do is we will drill some holes in the bottom of this. I know some people use the MC4 connector to go into the, into the box. I didn't want to do that. I, what I wanted to do, what I want to do, is 
So I'm just going to run the straight wire into here and hook up to this. And I'll put my MC4 connectors in line from the solar panels. They're going to have fuses and MC4 connectors. And then I can disconnect in line. They'll just be hanging down. The MC4 connectors are fine out in the weather. They're weatherproof. And so we can just uh, disconnect it like that. And that way, because that's going to take up a lot of space. And this is a small box. I didn't want to put anything on the side, so what I'm planning on doing is drilling some holes the size of the wire in the bottom of this box along here. We'll have the wires come up through here and around and go into the bus bar. And then uh, that way we'll make connection here at the bus bar and then the wiring and everything for the from the house will come up through this point here from the conduit and it will go over and go to these two connections right here. So we'll have them go to that connection there and have one go to this connection here. And that way uh, we'll have uh, our black wire going here and our red wire going here. And then uh, we drill a hole through here, run our wire up through there, and then I'm going to make the wire the hole pretty snug but not only that I'm I've got some uh, RTV sealant uh, that I can use to put a little bit of that sealant around this around that wire to seal that off and then I'd pull it down and and take a zip tie and make a what is called a drip loop and what you do is you run the wire out out like this and it comes out and then it comes back around and makes a drip loop. So it'll look it'll look sort of like this. I'll put this put this wire, see that wire will come out like that. It'll come back around. This is a small wire but this I can demonstrate it. And then you put a zip tie around it and you have it going through through the plastic through the hole there and then you put a little bit of that RTV sealant on the bottom of it just to seal it up it's not that it's going to hurt anything even if it wasn't sealed up I don't think it would hurt anything we just want to keep moisture out of this box is what we want to do but uh it'll drop down like this and then whenever rain comes along this wire goes off to the solar panels this wire goes in here and makes our connection here this end of the wire will make our connection here and this will go to the solar panels. The, the rain will come down this wire and it will come down here and it won't be able to go back up. It will actually drip off the end of this little drip loop. So that's how we'll you know, take care of any problems as far as you know water getting into the box. No water will get into the box because you'll have a drip loop. You'll have uh, four drip loops on this side and four on this side. So that way we'll uh, we'll then uh, run from this wire here to uh, fuse and to uh, MC4 connectors. So I just wanted to show you all that, and uh, that's all we got. It's KD5 INM. Y'all have a good one.